Just Jay Martin, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, looking at that smoke and dust map again, we're still seeing plenty of that smoke out towards the western parts of the United States, and then that's riding up over this ridge, and then it's been moving down towards our area, again, bringing us a little bit of a haze towards our horizon. And again, adding a little bit more color for those sunsets. And kind of taking a zoom in, you see most of it's been staying well off towards our north, but a little bit of that haze has worked its way in towards us here in the Concho Valley. And again, no relief in sight for those wildfires out there. They're staying relatively dry. We do see some showers along the northern plains. Otherwise, we've been pretty dry for us here in the Concho Valley and much of Texas as well. We did see some showers that were out along the Gulf Coast. Those have since dissipated. Now we've gotten past sunset and we're getting Again, looking at relatively clear skies for us going into tonight. Again, this is looking off towards the south. We did see some of that increased uh, southerly winds. You, know, you did see some afternoon clouds, but otherwise it was a pretty quiet day. And then we did start to see a lot of people showing up just to the bottom of your screen for that downtown movie night. If you were to kind of get out and enjoy a little bit of a movie, or again, uh, just getting out downtown and enjoying it, the weather in general. Temperatures right now in downtown San Angelo in the mid 80s, 85 degrees, a little bit more on the humid side, dew points in the mid 60s. Still with those southerly winds, only at six miles per hour. But again, we will be watching for those to begin to pick up as we go into the weekend. Again, the past 24 hours, temperatures we did see a lower 70s for us to start the morning, and we quickly saw those temperatures getting up into the upper 90s. So again, any yard work you might want to be trying to take care of, definitely making sure you get those done in the early morning hours or late in the evening when it is at its coolest. Otherwise, temperatures right now in the mid 80s for much of the area will be cooling things down as we continue. 85 in San Angelo, 85 in Mertzen as well, 84. In El Dorado, 170 on the map at an Eden, 79 degrees. So again, light winds for the area as well. We do see some gust out towards Ozona. Otherwise, still single digits for much of us. Again, we'll be watching for those to pick up as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Still from the south, but be winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 25 miles per hour at times. That goes for Sunday as well. And then we're going to see it continue going into next week as well. Tonight, temperatures dipping into the lower 70s, 71, mostly clear skies. Again, light southwesterly winds. And then tomorrow, very similar to what we saw today. We'll see some afternoon clouds during the afternoon, mostly clear skies. Temperatures getting into the upper 90s, and then we'll see those breezy conditions with those winds from the south gusting up to 25 miles per hour at times. This weekend, again, you're trying to make the most of the summer. You kind of didn't take advantage earlier and wanted to kind of get out there and enjoy the pool. The next couple days look to be fantastic. We'll be looking at hot conditions for both Saturday as well as Sunday, and again, mostly clear skies as well. And then given that how cool and wet your July was, that kind of helped us out with our drought monitor, something you kind of see as a rare sight, a drought monitor for West Texas with no impacts expected for the Concho Valley. And that's going to continue as we going to go into the next couple of days, staying dry for the weekend as well as to next week. Could still see some clouds. Again, rain showers expected to stay well off towards our north for us on Sunday. And you could see still some of the cloud coverage moving across the area. But otherwise, we will be staying dry going even into next week. So again, pretty quiet weather pattern. And that's because of that ridge that's going to be rebuilding back over the Four Corners area. That starts to expand towards the east and brings those warmer temperatures with us along with those southerly winds. Again, allows for those hotter temperatures as well as, again, mostly clear skies expected. So again, looking at your seven-day forecast, breezy conditions, we'll start to see those southerly winds bringing in the heat. Again, temperatures returning close to the triple-digit mark for us on Sunday and Monday. And then we're going to be flirting with the triple-digit mark for much of the week ahead. Again, upper 90s and triple digits. But we'll get a slight cool down as we get into the end of next week with upper 90s expected for Friday.